morning, everyone, and happy Saturday. My name is Kelly, and this is another weekend of Clarinets, Cats, and Coffee. In today's video, I am going to play an excerpt from a Cavallini Caprice, and it is just absolutely charming, and it's very beautiful, and it is the perfect little excerpt to practice playing expressively in the clarion register. So if you if you love this caprice, it's actually a theme in variations and you should just go get the book. These uh, Cavallini caprices are so much fun and they're just beautiful and wonderful and, and, and just lovely to play. Um, before we do that, I want to thank my patrons. Uh, you guys are wonderful. I really appreciate your support over the past year. And if anybody's interested in supporting my channel, if you like what I'm doing, if you appreciate my work, please consider becoming a patron of this channel for as little as $3 a month. Clarinets, Cats, and Coffee is a series that I started a year ago, um, and in the series I play a little etude and I give maybe a PDF or some tips or both uh, to viewers to implement into their own practicing over the week. And I've had a lot of fun doing it and I have plans to keep it up over the next year or two or however many I feel like. All right, so this excerpt is so lovely and you know, these videos here that I make, a lot of them are, most of them are very technical. And I believe that in order to play very expressively, we must also be coordinated enough to master any sort of technical challenges that may come along the way. And it all kind of goes hand in hand, right? You have to have an idea of what you want to sound like, but you also have to have a toolbox of technical skills to be able to implement whatever your artistic vision is. And so YouTube videos are really great for being able to teach or talk about or share tips on very technical things. And so that's what I'm going to do. But the end result on, on your end when you're practicing this is, is to express yourself, play musically, and, and follow whatever vision you have in your mind of what you think this should sound like in the end. So playing in the clarion register uh, can be very tricky. Um, a lot of us tend to pinch the reed and kind of bite or squeeze in order to get these higher notes to sound in tune. And we do this because we typically don't use enough air to support the sound. And so what I want you guys to do is to practice just blowing fast air with high tongue position. And so what, um, what I have a lot of my students practice doing is just taking a big relaxed breath in. So I'd like you guys to try this, okay? Relax, let all the old air out. Take a big breath in. And So shush, like literal, like S-H-H-H-T-T, you know? And uh, doing so, if you really take a nice big breath in and relax that shush out, there's no obstruction of the throat, the tongue stays high, and the wind stays fast. And if you try to implement that technique into your playing, then the clarion register is going to sound beautiful and clear and just lovely at all dynamic levels. So really quick, one more time, let all of the old air out. Deep breath in. And if you do it right, you should feel the back of the throat open up, the sinuses, everything open up, and the pressure, just air moving forward at a very high speed without having to push or clinch or anything, okay? So I'm gonna go ahead and play this for you guys right now. Feel free to play along if you would like. Um, and I do have a link to uh, the PDF below if you guys are interested in checking this out, but I do highly recommend just going out and buying the Cavallini Caprices because they are just wonderful. So that being said, I'm going to go ahead and play through this for you.
All right, guys, that was so much fun. Thank you so much for listening. I hope you enjoyed practicing this particular excerpt this week. Let me know what your thoughts are and if you have any tips or comments or anything you'd like to share with the community so we can all learn from each other. Have a wonderful weekend. Have a good rest of your week. And as always, happy practicing.